I want to show an example here of how I would do this measurement on this tapered bushing if this 1.089 dimension for this diameter was a basic. Say my client wanted to know at that exact diameter, how far am I from this datum B? Actually, they've got a nominal dimension in here, or a basic dimension of 269 that they're testing this diameter against. But let's just say, for this example, what we've got is a basic dimension for the diameter. And the client wants to know then, where is that located to my B datum? Well, that's a perfect example of how to construct a circle from a feature known as a cone. I've got the taper already measured in here, but I want to find out where does that 1 inch and 89 thousandths diameter occur on that cone. So I'll run over here to my SAT file and pull that up a second. So what I've got is this cone measured inside of this bushing. And I want to find out where does that 1.089 diameter occur. The way I'm going to do that is I'll run up to the Construct menu, and I want to construct a circle that is from a cone. So when I click on that, the only cone that it found out there was my cone that was labeled the Morse taper, the measured Morse taper. I don't need to know a distance. What I need to know is the diameter. If that diameter is 1.089, where does that diameter lie? And I will say OK to that. Now what it does is it runs out and it develops this circle after using that cone. It finds that diameter of 1.089. It uses that as the nominal to construct this circle. Now what I'll do is I'll call that my 1.089 diameter. And then what I'll do is I'll run up to my tolerances tab here and I'm going to deselect everything except the Z component. Since the Z component is the height, I'll move over just a little bit. You'll see my trihedron down here. It's been established off the center of this part and on the datum B, which is the bottom of this tapered bushing. So the Z is what I am concerned with. And then if I go back to my PDF, notice that my Z height they're testing against is this 269. So I'll run back over to my SAT file and highlight my nominals tab. And I'm going to hand key in, which is this 0.0, .0 my Z component of 0.269. And I'll say OK. Maybe I'll change the name on this nominal diameter to Z component, and I'll say OK. Now notice, if I go back to my report tab, and now my diameter shows up here as constructed, the Z component is the only thing that I'm looking at testing, and I've got the nominal of the 269 in here. So my deviation is a little bit less than a thou and a half. So that sounds like it's a pretty good test for that circle and that height from Z. So I'll say OK to that. And that's a great feature if you need to construct a circle from a cone. And again, it's just under Construct Circle from Cone.